beers and bets. Be- be- beers and bets. Beers and bets. Be- be- beers and bets. Oh. Hey now! Hey! Oh, Welcome oh, back! Right. Welcome back! Yeah, happy New Year! We've been on a little hiatus. A little hiatus. Yeah. hiatus. Hey, Our own little like places. <laughs> Our own little oasis. We got the only water for 1,500 miles. Yeah. Our own little <laughs> oasis. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the holidays kind of interrupted our regular regular scheduled programming. But we're back yeah. here. We back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jimmy's well, in the house. We are back. We got Brad's it back. In the house. We are getting foot or uh, cowboy hat <laughs> oh, back. What does it say on there? Budweiser. Oh, hell Budweiser. Yeah. yeah. I would, you know, uh, we, we of course we so, stick with the sponsors. You're not wearing those. that because the Bucks are playing the Cowboys, are you? Oh, How about no, you, not at all. Okay. Okay. Come on. <laughs> We're coming for them, man. Yeah. Fuck the bus. We'll see. Buddy. We'll see how long it lasts. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your Brady jersey at? Put a motherfucking Brady. I don't got one. Jersey. I don't yeah, got one. one. I'm done with the guy. I, I'm really? ready for that chapter to end. I, we've talked about it. You want Blaine Gabbert, the lifesaver? No, nah, I don't think Blaine Gabbert's the answer. He but saves lives. Let's not get let's not get swept up in Bucks talk too soon. Oh, we're gonna, we don't need oh, 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 we're gonna preview it excited for it. We're gonna preview the NFL playoffs. But before we even get into the playoffs this year, let's John take a Payton. Look, let's take a look back before the season. This was back no. in August. We all made Super Bowl picks. Uh, this is go. what we all had. I this cannot wait we all to had. hear this. I do not remember it all. I right? remember, and I know, and I get fucked. I had the Buccaneers against the Chargers. Still in okay. play. Unlikely, okay. but still okay. in play. All right? Yeah. Jimmy, you had the Packers against the Baltimore Ravens. That's Is not that in- totally in play. The Ravens... Maybe you have a one percent chance of making the we Super Bowl. <laughs> Telling me there's a chance. Better than yeah. the Bucks. Get fucked, man. And Brady's then gone. Brad, Brad, this is where it gets real dark. <laughs> Brad, you had the Colts against the Rams, which well Whoa. does not look good now. How the fuck? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, what could we have known? But that is a shot in the dark. There, man. Yeah. Whoa. Well, it's, that's the NFL. That's that the didn't NFL. Go well. well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was like fantasy this year. Yeah. yeah Broncos. Yeah. Broncos. Hey, man. Russ. We played the Chiefs. Tough. We played them tough. They're not doing so, shit, by the way. We saw a lot and, of turnover in the NFL this year. And I don't want to get too deep into it, but why the fuck are we going to cancel a game because some douchebag can't get off the goddamn field because he's having some no. little heartbeat? Yeah, he's Jimmy, not, that's uh, going too far, man. Nobody's going to – people are going to turn off the podcast for that take. He, I'm, <laughs> he took the – he got the wind <laughs> knocked out of him, essentially, man. Like I mean, real, he literally like, did die and have to be resuscitated on the field. You know how many times it's happened I thought, to me? I went to bed that night thinking he was going to die. I, I – Given, I fell well, I well, fell Jimmy. asleep. I fell asleep during the game and Did I woke back blues? up and saw it was postponed. Chris Bronger had a similar type of thing. No. They ended yeah. the game. They yeah, but let game. me tell you something. That was a parlay I had going, and it was a fantasy football. They probably team. gave you your money back the- though. They did, but I'm talking about the well, fantasy football. You, you know, you want to talk about money the back. worst game for that to happen, though. I'm glad he's okay mm-hmm. now. We can joke about it. You know, that's I mean. why the I'm home field about. advantage deal. But I don't even give a shit about that. It's more that was the last game of the fantasy football championships mm-hmm. in almost everybody's league. Nobody yeah. plays till week 18. It affected both of my leagues so significantly. Every single yeah. league had to decide what random rule they're going to make up on the fly that nobody's going to get pissed at. Yeah. I don't know. We just I, played I it how it was. We played it how it was. You don't know that that's going to happen, and you just got to take the – Whatever take, they – I, what I like yeah. the way – it worked perfect in, in the the hockey, golf league, whatever you want to fucking call it. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the two guys in the championship game kind of de- decided amongst their, themselves, keep the scores from everybody from the championship week and then just add in the scores for the players that you had missed out on. Right. From 18 and calculate that, it yourself. That makes enough sense because, yeah, but the you, matchups you need two are different, to be reasonable, but it makes though. enough sense. You know what sense. I mean for that? Yeah. Like, you, mm. you need to. So it yeah. worked out, though. Yeah, I thought it was a waste of time. Hey, the NFL didn't well, get it right again. Hey, you and I were the only two to not make the, <laughs> the playoffs even. So let me tell you something. Fantasy football is a waste of time in general, but it is fun. 
<laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> it's a crapshoot. Some of your betting. betting horror stories. I think I might rather just sink 20 bucks into the fantasy yeah. football. It's a lot of entertainment for 20. I'm going to throw together money. a nasty parlay wild card oh, weekend. I've already been looking at it. I'm just killing, looking. dude. J- just take every dog. Just take yeah. every single dog. Speaking of the dogs, man, you want to talk about dogs? Uh, How's Dante? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, yeah. He hasn't killed anyone this month, which is cool, but maybe a squirrel. But because uh, no, those peanut dude, butter jars. The fucking dogs, TCU, man. I mean, they, they, you yeah, know, we, that was, dude, tough. that was rough, dude. The dogs yeah. were barking. <laughs> the dogs came to they play. They should get banned for like three years from the playoffs for that performance. Like, but, if you get beat by 50, you're out for three years. Yeah, you can't be back. Like, that you whole guys, class of losers has to leave before you can play in it again. Did you guys catch Kirby Smart's like pregame hype up speech in the locker room? How he basically said, like, you know, we've worked all year for this. You know, there's no reason to be nervous. We're going to go out there and just, just like, we're going to whoop their ass. Like, we're going to completely destroy them. He he called it like the game was over with the, if you watch that locker room speech, you're like, this game's over, man. They don't even got to play this one. Well, they're second. Yeah. Like, like second team, right? Would beat TCUs. Yeah. They probably could have played their backups and they would have won. Yeah. They would have, yeah, played it fine. Crazy, crazy. Stetson no, yeah. Bennett, though, crazy story for that guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he'll ever do anything NFL wise. He won't. He'll be a he'll Chase Daniel up, at he'll best. He'll probably end up Chase being like a, like, like a a Frank McCarron in the XFL. Yeah. He'll, be he'll McCarron. play decent. Yeah. Well, he might take McCarron's job in a year. <laughs> Bring him in. We got McCarron. Battle here. Hawks. No, oh, st- dude. Little over a month it starts. Oh yeah, this okay. podcast is gonna flip dramatically. I'll bet on it. I'll bet on it. Battle Hawks play MLS right here, starts man. in about a month as well. Training I don't camp care. open. I don't care much about that. For we SPL checked out the City. stadium downtown, man. They got a fucking stadium. We, we tried went getting in. Depth in. Reporting. Yeah. We tried to sneak in for for beers and bets, dude. We went we down and I had sweatpants and we a hoodie on. I'm surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <didn't laughs> well, luckily, we were luckily we were in the work band, so <laughs> you know nobody asked yeah. questions. Yeah, we were smoking a joint downtown St. Louis. We go to our right, and there's a cop with his windows down and ours are down. And Brad's got up, like, oh shit. Brad's like, oh shit. And then we're like, we're in the work van, dog. Like, it says, like, like he did totally whatever all over the fucking thing. Roll it's, a whole, it's like a whole wrapped, like, uh, one of those, like, Dodge Ram Pro Master, kind of like city, you know, it's got like this kind of van truck, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I can't it, picture it, it. It only is a little two toaster, a little toaster. Yeah, man. a toaster, man, a toaster. It's like but, a little, you know, but it smoked that fucker out. out. <laughs> oh, it's got yeah, under we three thousand miles. Weed, yeah, the weed under shop. three thousand miles. We had to break her. Uh, yeah, you know. Uh, Enough on the MLS, though. Let's. We made our oh, Super Bowl please. picks before the season. The playoffs are about to start. Yeah. Let's make Super Bowl picks again. Now that we got a better scope of what's going on. So, Jimmy, why don't you? Take a stab at it. Who you got in the Super Bowl? Looking at the, you know, NFC, Niner, AFC. Mm, Eagles. Your own Eagles, not Niners. You sure? Eagles, yeah. So it'll be the Niners. And then um, Eagles, Chiefs. Eagles, Chiefs. Be- and you think the Eagles can beat them? You think the Eagles could stay with them? I didn't think that the Eagles would win and when Nick Foles, man. So I don't know, but I think I just for some reason feel like it's a Kelsey, Kelsey like deal. And Travis Kelsey will get struck by lightning on the way to the stadium. Andy Reid's going to have a heart attack. And then, you know what I mean? It'll be so great. you pick the Eagles in that game. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. Yeah. Hit it almost up. sounds like you in Hit your head when you think about it, you think the Chiefs are going to win. You just don't want to pick blood. it. No, I don't think, I don't trust their man. I think there's a blueprint for them. And um, like if you play the Broncos that tight twice, man, I know that we prepare for them over any other team probably. And I know our defense wants to beat them more than any team that we play, but like, Still, given that, like, the fact that we prepare for them, there's other teams out there doing the same damn thing, like the Bengals, and right. even though they got the Ravens, that's a tough first matchup, for real, even though it's Huntley. But, yeah, I don't I don't trust it. I, don't, I haven't 
seen anything from the Chiefs this year where you're like, man, they are flawless. You know, they they got more holes in them, it seems like, than a lot of other teams. If you shut down Kelsey, dude, I, I understand they can get the guys going, but I don't – I trust – Doesn't it seem Eagles. like Mahomes kind of plays around in these games, though? Like he is almost like feeling things out. Like not like Peyton really. Manning did that. Peyton Manning did that for years, and, yeah, he was dope, but he won two rings, man. Like, I mean – if you want to be that guy, which it looks like he's on his way of being, man, he's on his way to almost being a Donovan McNabb where Andy Reid's quarterback. And the defense isn't getting any fucking better, dude. When they play bad teams, they look good. When they play good teams, they look bad. Yeah, it's, it's all and Chris Jones. Their defense is all Chris Jones. All him, exactly. Yeah. All pressure on the quarterback. It's it. a lot of plays, though. Well, yeah. it's Spagnolo in that fucking defense. And they're, like, what was supposed to be a dope division turned into being a really poor division, and they got to end their season against, like, the Broncos and the fucking uh, Raiders. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so, it. I mean, whatever. I, I, I don't think they're battle-tested yet. And when they have been, they've lost. Like, the Bills got them and the Bengals got them, right? Yep. The Bills mm-hmm. and Bengals both beat them this year. Yeah. And they still wound up with the number one seed due to circumstances bullshit. we already talked about. Due to bullshit because that fucker get them off the field. <laughs> Jimmy, the Chiefs have lost playoff games at Arrowhead. So I, I don't even know that it is that know. significant. You know? Sometimes that bye week hurts year. too. Sometimes the that Patriots bye, you know, beat them a few sometimes years. Sometimes that bye week does not help. Oh, that was great. That was one of my favorite yeah. games ever. OT, OT. I, I, I really think I, I really think Go. that bye week's overrated because it. We've seen in the last couple of years, it, it's a weird team that gets hot and just yeah. starts. And we see wild teams. card teams make it all the time, right? Like the Bucks lately since they've expanded. You yeah. know, postseason. Okay, Red. Jimmy's got Eagles versus Chiefs. What do you got for the Super Bowl? I'm going Bills Vikings. The Vikings. You think the Vikings can still do it with that I kind do. of crappy I, I defense? Think, I think it's they not have not a right. really lucky first matchup. I think that helps. Once you win one game, then that momentum starts going. They do get this first game at home. I think that helps as well. No, no, okay. No. I actually like the Giants to – they're kind of my upset pick. We'll get to that later. The Giants yeah. are my upset pick wild card weekend. But I, um, I'm um, i going to make a homer pick. <laughs> I'm going to make Shocker. a homer pick. I'm going to take the Buccaneers against the Chiefs, and I have an exception for this. If somebody else needs to beat the 49ers because the Bucs are not beating the 49ers, I could see us beating the Eagles. I could see us beating the, the Cowboys. I can see us beating the Vikings. I cannot see the Buccaneers beating the 49ers. I just think they're going to beat the Cowboys. The Niners have too good of a defense. We wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't be able to do it against them. I wish I had a lasso. So if somebody else knocks off (laughs) the the Niners, Tom Brady's skinny ass. I could see, I could see Brady and the Bucks defense sliding through the playoffs (laughs) to the Super Bowl somehow. To Marcus Lawrence is going to. They would get I a could. rematch against the Chiefs. <laughs> they'd play the Chiefs. You think they'd get that's them though? Super Bowl pick. If they got that? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, what do you, probably not. I don't <laughs> think they'd get them, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think so they'd either. Be able to beat the Chiefs. I, I think this the Chiefs year. are almost tougher to deal with this year because you years past you could just double Tyreek and the Kelsey fuck out of and, here. and hope for the best. It's they're multiple. They're well, they go, Jimmy, you won't even let me. You're an so. idiot. Okay. We'll see. You think they're bad? Is that what you're saying? You I don't think, think they're better. Like, I don't think they're better without Tyreek Hill. He's one of the better receivers in the entire football. I mean, he went to play with Tua, who can't throw it 20 yards, and made him look really good. Yeah, they still have enough weapons for Mahomes to get the shit done. They though. do, but they don't have Tyreek, so I don't know if they're better. That was the question, right? Without Tyreek, I don't think they're better. I think the threat yeah. of Tyreek is more of a threat than McCole Hardman. Like Juju. Like. Yeah, I mean, there hasn't been an offense really this year that you can say, oh, they've not ever been stopped. Like, we've seen weaknesses in everybody's shit. Like, Buffalo, they can't run if, the ball at times. If Fields comes back, hell, or uh, not Fields, if fucking, uh, what am I? It hurts. Fucking, it it hurts. hurts. If he comes back healthy, dude, that's a fucking, that's a scary team, man. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I haven't yeah, bought I in. The, I haven't bought into the Eagles yet. It, I guess no one the only has, thing is, but no one did it the year they beat the Patriots. How are they going to look? You know, because like 
Jason Kelsey, you know, I know you love Travis, but that podcast, he, he said like a month ago, like around Thanksgiving, how his body's falling apart. You know, Lane, like Lane, that, Lane, but... Lane Johnson's been out. It's just their very old team up front on the on the mm. O line. You and can the, take that the, another and, way. And that's and... the thing that's dominated. You know, they they've been dominant, but can they win? I mean, what? You don't think if they can win during the year, they're not going to do it when it really? Counts, oh, I think they man, can. They... I think the rest might actually help them. I think it hurts Kansas City. I think the Eagles peaked too soon. I could see yeah. them slipping up in the playoffs. They're getting back. I like the I like where the Niners are at better than the Eagles. Like I, like I said, yeah, I'm scared a, the I'm scared uh, to death of us. What facing happens the Niners when the Niners the get behind? What happens when the Niners get behind in that game? You think Brock Purdy is going to start leading them I don't down know the field? I mean, he did do that behind. once, Brad. He had to do it. What was the game the 49ers fell behind in recently? Um, the Raiders game, and yeah, it was against the Raiders. But the Raiders had, I think they had a 10-point lead on the Niners early. Old Jarrett Stidham and Brock Purdy brought him back. The How quarterback match up for the Man, centuries. You, you cannot Brock Purdy and Jarrett the Stidham. way he plays and tell me he's a good starting quarterback. He fucked the Bucks up. He. That's because the Bucs aren't a good team. Let's ride. And hey, by the way. That's because the Bucs are going to lose. To You're down to How about the no, Cowboy hat? I think we handle business <laughs> against the Cowboys. But your dumb Chargers, man, playing uh, your boy, and he got yeah, hurt. I like Mike that Williams. matchup. Mike yeah, Williams. well, Staley, yeah, I still am very angry at Staley for that. Well, that made no sense, did it? To no. start, be starting Joey Bosa you and Mike us. Williams? You seem to know the guy better than we do. You play the guys that get hurt more than like yeah. any guys like yeah. in the league, man. I, like, I would have played them one drive. Whatever that was, it's treated like preseason. Stretch your legs, warm up, go through the motions, and then shut it the fuck down. It's just not worth it. It's not worth whatever like preparation or practice or reps you're if gonna they get. Lose it's not this worth game losing. To the Jaguars, you're... could he get fired? Oh yeah. When for sure. when, when for they sure. lose this this I game agree. to the Jaguars, when not if it. Can we, we see a ja- can we see a Jaguars Eagles Super Bowl anyway? I don't think so. I think so. No way. I, I believe. So. I believe it. And how, let's how get into that. that. Let's okay. get into that game though, specifically okay. the Jags Chargers matchup. Yeah. So the Chargers Saturday have night, to fly right? all the way to Jacksonville, like all the way across the country to play the Jags, and the Chargers are still favorites. They're road favorites in the playoffs, which we don't usually see. Mm-hmm. And you know, as a Chargers fan, as a oh my god, you know, as a, as a true Chargers fan, unbelievable. Dude. I think Herbert balls out and wins this game, but I do have my worries. I do have my reasonable worries. One, Doug Peterson is a way better coach than Brandon. Hey, we're adding, we're adding. And what's my other worry? Um, <laughs> yeah, Brandon Staley is the coach of the fucking team. He had to re- he had to research worries. He didn't even fucking remember him. <laughs> Yeah, but I think Herbert balls out. I think Herbert's just a notch above Lawrence at this point, and I think Herbert finds a way to get it done. You want a little uh, side action? You guys are both on the Jags. Yeah, you're both on the Jags. No, I'm on Doug Peterson, man. I don't. Yeah. Yes, I am on the Jags. That guy. I think the Jags are more. He looks like a fucking team. golden retriever as a human. That motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> Doug Peterson. He's got ah. the visor. There's the, just that hair kind of like a flopping around. Retri- His it, hair looks is like, great. it looks like it looks kind of like a golden Gruden retriever, like, like golden retriever. Main. When was the last uh, time you saw a golden retriever? I don't know. Let's fucking share screen some golden retrievers. Jesus Christ! I think most. Uh, well, I was rubbing off on Matt. See, I got the Bovado eyes. <laughs> Be great if it was some porn. Dude. Uh, <laughs> Advisor. They caught me at the wrong time, Jim. Hey, we're adding a little side bet on that shit. I'll take uh, plus tw- uh, 2.5 Jags. You want to do a I, Jaguars, I got on, I got on, I got on ESP. side bet? Yeah, plus uh, two and a half. Oh, he's taking an extra point. Look at that little. Oh. I got it on here. I got. I'm looking at one and a half. Yeah, but why the fuck you would you bring that up? Well, it's not hey, you, know, you know I love bringing up ticket prices. It's cheaper. When's that the, from, dude? The Niners game than the Jags. I'm looking at it right now, live. Yeah, I don't think so, man. Live, I'm not, I'm live. Not Are the live. Blues winning yet? Jimmy, yep. what do you want? A five dollar, ten dollar bet oh, yeah. on Jags? Ten dollar bet on it. Ten dollar bet. All right. 
Shake on it. I'll take the Chargers minus two and a half. The Chargers. Take that to the bank. I'm on a fucking hot streak, though, Jim. That's I am good. too, you douchebag. You're against you know the wrong I'm guy. <laughs> I, let me tell you, I know who I'm betting against, man. Right? Do you like the Jags in that game too? And you feel good about it? They're gonna run all over them. Dude. Yeah, I do. With Mike Williams hurt, I do. They if he off. plays, that offense is way different. Because then he's stretching the field, and Keenan Allen works. Mid. Yeah, he is the deep. Eckler's threat. got the dump downs, but you take that deep guy, then it's they're just so predictable. And we've seen when they don't have all those receivers, they're a 500 ball club. Like, there's nothing special about yeah, them. Yeah, I don't like the healthy. play calling. I mean, Herbert is special. I just Mack don't like the play calling, shit. man. Everything they paid for Khalil Mack, he is not produced. I like sure. Edmund, no, I haven't too. heard a lot. Haven't heard a lot about a Khalil who, Mack who you this like? year. Uh, Etnan, they got a running back named Etnan. Oh, yeah, like yeah. Etienne Jr. No, yeah. Etnan is it yeah. different. I, I think it, you know, I, I don't think the Jags were dumb to take a running back and a QB that played three years together in college and won a couple of championships against Bama, and, or at least Andy, one. Right. right? Andy, like, can, Andy can catch out of the backfield and you know, block. That's yeah. always the big one. And welcome to 20 and 23, 2023 beers and bets. Cause this is hey. a new cool thing about it, man. Let's shit. Yeah. Oh, shit's it, legal it, now. We can light now. up and yeah. it won't, it won't deter any sponsorships or nothing like that. Right. Yeah. It might even yeah. gain a few. Yeah. You we're know? not breaking any laws at this point. But yeah. Let's <laughs> move on to, let's move on to bucks. Cowboys, Brad, get the cowboy hat back out. Oh yeah, yeah. baby. You, oh, we, we, know, we know we know where my heart go. lies. Uh, we gonna ride. So Cowboys are they open at three point favorites? Let's see where Let's the line's at matter. now. Let's ride. Don't matter. Let's see where the line's at. We got so the line has moved down. The Cowboys are now favored by two and a half. So you guys know where I land on this game. I'm picking my team, the Bucks. I think we win this game by eight nine points. Uh, Jimmy, what do you got here? Bucks, Cowboys. That's a Monday night game. Um, it is, and that sucks. I kind of don't like that we play on Monday night because eh, eh. it makes the next week difficult. And did you say your us. home crowd sucks? Oh, they do from the game yeah. I was at. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, come on, Tampa, step it up. I'll take the Bucks. Any reason? Uh, you like, uh, I think we're taking the White. Cowboys. I'm taking the Cowboys. Oh, yeah. Live change up. Oh god. Because I'll tell you, man, I think that defense is just they have game, they have game changers on the defense. And I don't know if the Bucks offense is like there. Like years, a few years ago, you could look at that offense and be like, damn, Antonio Brown, like, and is like when he was good at the mm-hmm. Gronk. A lot of different elements. Like we're a weapon or two short for sure. Fournette, exactly. Yeah. And I think if you look at either side of the ball on their offense, like they CD Lamb, like Schultz or whatever his fucking name is, it. Um, and then the running game they have. Yeah. That given They're definitely with better at running back than now, we are. Yeah. The oh, one, offense. the scary element is it's the fucking Cowboys, and you're like, man, are they gonna be, do it's what? Fucking we Mike use? McCarthy, exactly. <laughs> like, are they? Well, he also has won a Super Bowl. We always people are quick to forget, make about fun him. of him because he's dumb looking and yeah, yeah, makes and he's stupid. Just, well, he couldn't he win with Aaron play Rod- clock. He but, couldn't yeah. win with Aaron Rodgers, so that looks bad. I, I just, but like, I, I, think, I think there's a reason Tampa's not even five hundred. You finish at eight and nine. Yeah, but I mean, record That's doesn't matter and, this and, week. And, and, record and, and we're on does not matter this you, week. You hyped up that Bucks defense. They've been average this year. I think they've been good, man. It's tough when you have such but a shitty offense. Defense has it been sucks. Bad. It sucks when you have it's a shitty offense bad. and you're on the field all the fucking time, though. That's a that is a legitimate well, that sounds factor like to, to look at. I mean, when you when you've won as many games as the Bucks have by scoring less than twenty points, your defense is pretty fucking good. I just think right? Zeke and Tony Pollard are going to cause a lot of issues. <laughs> I doubt it. I can't even look <laughs> at Brad. Put that fucking hat on. That. Zeke and Tony Pollard. What did they rush for in Week One? Like a total hey, Matt, of thirty the yards. Hat, the way that revenge hat game. Up. Revenge game. Exactly. Yeah. You, so, so you're saying the team that is first, like Matt, the way, one, tilted, dude, the way it's tilted. The way it's. No, we're talking box. So I gotta stay. I gotta stay serious here. Right. I can't. I can't get unlocked. <laughs> he looks like the. Drug is cowboy ever. 
<laughs> looks with like Jerry Jones. Yeah. With a looks like Jerry Jones at a strip club. Like, all right, yeah. It's yeah. Jerry Jones like going Let skiing. Me get a He's got the Let me... All right, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, the Cowboys doctor. Do you guys know that the Cowboys yeah. doctor comes out with the his cowboy big old head buckle on? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They shout out to Katrina's uh, mom, by the way. This hoodie, like the best gift I got, maybe, man. Mm-hmm. It's a solid oh, yeah. blue. A hockey one. with I the threads there. With the, I've looked yeah, at those. I've never like, bought one, man. I've looked at those because they even make NFL teams, but the hockey I, hoodie style. I love it, dude. Yeah, yeah man. Mm-hmm. So I got to give a yep. shout out. I know she won't watch, but yeah, dude. I. Uh, yeah, that's a worthwhile shout out then. Blues are on a tear right now, dude. Like, where are yep. we? Zero, let's zero. Inter- let's interrupt the, the playoff talk for some blues talk. Hey, if the no, season Tarasenko, ended today, are we in the playoffs? We'd be out by like a game, but if we won tonight, okay. we'd be in. Yeah. Okay. So we're so right they're behind making the Colorado. We're, Colorado we're, is like slightly out of it too, but we lost O'Reilly and Tarasenko for like a month and a half each, at least. And yeah, we, since we then, we've come back till uh, mid mid February. Over over a month. Over a month. Yeah. Wow, we February. lost them too, and we've gotten better. Yeah, oh, really? We played we've... four and one since they left, and okay, like two small two sample in, size, two in um a shootout, but okay. four and one without guys that were talking about trading before they got hurt. Like before they got hurt, it was like, do we get rid of these guys? Are we good enough to play? And now it's showing that not only are we good enough to play almost without them. Like, I don't want to say that because, like, it's been... No, we're not there yet. Like, but, that's a small sample. But it has been impressive enough to kind of put us on check to where, like, hey, man, if we could get a good return on the, you know, it would just be a... I think Tarasenko would be the more likely to get moved, though. I think O'Reilly would be here to stay. I think we hold on to him because I think we're in contention. It's better. I mean, exactly. You know, I don't when, think... when When NHL Network people are talking about the Blues top line of... Robert Thomas, dude, Kyru, and Bushnevich, yeah, like that could be a top five line for the next five years. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. You know, especially in, we're kind of in this weird transition point. Yeah, we are because it's like the end, Matt. But like, like if you're we, not as if, plugged in or yeah, whatever. But but, but if we win, you know, we'll we'll make something happen at the deadline. But otherwise, we could sell off our backup goalie, a defenseman, it, O'Reilly, Tarasenko. If it all went bad. Right, right. I'm not as plugged into the NHL as you guys are, but you mentioned we're right next to Colorado in the standings. What the hell They've happened been to them? Up. McKinnon been up. The or, whole yeah. division's been shit this year, really. I mean, shitty, no, no, shittily like competitive, though. Yes, no one, yes, no, no one's pulled away, so it's nobody's been... Nobody's stacking points like crazy. Everybody's we, just, well, yeah, Brady. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. That's yeah. that's a, that uh, updates honestly, we don't me need on to the go hockey talk. talk. We're not even to the All Star break. We yet, started you know off I mean? so fucking bad and yeah. like yeah. not getting points. In well, just so bad. many ebbs and flows. You know, like yeah. high, low, high, low. And yeah. and the games that's we life, would lose, man. and the games we would lose, we wouldn't even get points out of. And in the NHL, right. that's like an important fucking. You know, if you're gonna lose, at least try to get it to overtime. You gotta get grind. a point out of it. Yeah. Like don't don't get blown out. All right, let's hit a How couple much? more of these football matchups, though. Brad, let's go to your Ravens going to Cincinnati to play the Bengals. No Lamar in this game. It's confirmed. Lamar Jackson will not play. Mm-hmm. So I think we're all going to end up siding on the Bengals this game. I could say I could see the Ravens keeping it um, within, you know, seven points. I have a question. Sure. I think they can win. Whereas question, Jim? going into this game, if Lamar could play, would you rather have Brady or Lamar? And to your game, Lamar. so you get what I mean. Like, would you rather have starting for if, the, if it's the Bucks? Years? If it's the Bucks and it's Lamar or Brady, this if you're year, gonna man, say, I gotta dude, say Lamar, dude. You are I gotta out say of your a healthy fucking Lamar. mind, unbelievably. I think we could make. Dude, it I've watched him all year, all. man. I've Every watched Brady all year, fan, dude. Has to win. He throws it in the fucking dirt. Brady has no, thrown no, the ball in the fucking dirt right, the whole right. damn year. No, man. I mean the only thing he can totally... do successfully is check it down to a fucking running back. All right, that's the only right. thing he can do good this year. Next, I, ask I, I, I do think the wrong. Ravens, the way their defense has played, it comes down if Marcus Peters plays, I think they could have a shot because all of a sudden you are a legitimate shot offense. at winning the game. I do, I think okay. because with J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards, when they've played, that rush attack doesn't really need the quarterback to do much. 
It's yeah. really just all line and them at that point. It's just the way they're built, the scheme, you know. Most teams don't have six D linemen and three linebackers ready to go for a full drive. Since he's pretty stout though, like they're not the type of team you could yeah. just like run the ball downhill on all game and score enough points. Yeah, they're how they win is a defensive touchdown and some special team shit. It's going to take some well, wild that's shit the, that's for the it weird to thing go too. down their way. The Ravens are the only uh, defensive team that doesn't have, I think, a, a touchdown or a field goal. They haven't year, scored a, a defensive off, off, touchdown. Off a turnover. Yeah. Um, and they're you top five nine. in the NFL. You Score do. Nine you touchdowns. need. Yeah. You do. <laughs> they they have zero. Nine touchdowns. Think you're such well, a good defense. The I Patriots defense about, scored a ton of touchdowns this year, and they still didn't make the playoffs. They're so <laughs> yeah. Belichick is going to throw. That's just such a weird fucking situation. I don't want to yeah. get into that, but like quickly, yeah. it's, it's annoying that people rip on him and say it was only Brady or it was only him. Well, no, it, it was a pairing of the greatest combination of all time. That's what it was. And, and yeah, and Belichick is still doing like his side of what he normally does as a head coach. His, his only mistake well, is we, putting Matt Patricia in charge. Yeah. We'll save sure. that for the off season. Right. What, yeah. what if Belichick yeah. came in and just took over like the Cowboys? Denver. I like, think he nope. could win. Yeah. I think, yeah, that'd be perfect though, Jimmy. I'm going to go check with sure. Denver's roster, their defense. Oh, he might hold, oh, he see, might hold like every team under 10 points with Denver's defensive roster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Dude, it won't happen. You, yeah, Jimmy, you think, Jimmy's like, oh my God, that sounds amazing. Dude, you think I'd fly out to Foxborough, like, yeah. dude? Like, I could get him. Like, I do work. I mean, like, I'd work out. No, I'd tell you to not bother buying the plane ticket. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, we got. Let's hit one more because there's a couple of games that aren't Sounds really good. worth talking about. Yeah. How about Giants at Minnesota playing the Vikings? We saw this matchup a few weeks ago and it was Score. really close. I like Danny Dimes and Brian Dable in this game. Yeah. I, but you guys know I've been a Danny Dimes guy forever. I think the Giants upset him in Minnesota. I'm fucking with you. Yep. I don't. I think Vikings are a better team than people give them credit for. I think the Vikings defense is just pretty crap. And that's yeah, where a, me that's where a mediocre I think the Giants, Giants offense is pretty crap as well. Well, if they can just get pass rush, that's all you need to fuck Kirk Cousins' day up. So if Dexter Lawrence and who's the rookie Thibodeau, if them two can get back there to fuck up Kirk Cousins' day, the G Men win this game. I like your yep. hey, buddy. Yeah. Let's go, man. And yeah, I like yeah. Brian Dable. I like how much of a fucking regular dude that guy looks like on the sidelines. He looks he like do, he looks I, like Jimmy, honestly. Like hey, Brian Dable is Jimmy what? 30 years from now. Hey, man. He's, 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 he's a little bit heavier than you are. Hey, I'm not, hey, <laughs> hey but I'm you got work good, to do. Man. You got work hey, to do, man. You got time. I look good, man. You hey, got time. Let me tell you something, you man. Let me tell you something. No, I like that fucker guy. Ah, uh, he He's um, cool. Yeah. I like his quote. Did you see an NFL network? It said, um, Dable says, What do you think about playoff experience? He goes, I don't think it matters that much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I did like, see that. Awesome, yeah. dude. Like, I don't think that matters really. I think and having I, I think having some players that have been there matters in the locker room. I think especially having a few yeah. players that have been to a Super Bowl matters. I think I'm glad when I stepped up, I didn't what kick my it? computer like yeah. table over and <laughs> knock my laptop on the ground. That would have made a quick podcast. Yeah. I actually oh, yeah. disagree with the quote. Like I disagree with the statement, but I still kind of like it. The fact that he's like, ah, fuck it. We don't well, have any you, playoff experience. You, no, you, it don't matter. I, I think I it does I, matter. I think, I think sometimes experience it's does good matter. to be blissfully ignorant. I, I think right. sometimes it I is think, good to have guys that don't know the spot. I think there's a difference. Like, like, Eli Manning and that the the helmet catch play like he might have just been Tom Brady if he had been there a bunch and gone down like let me get a fourth and seventeen or whatever rather than yeah, yeah. launch so I think like Brad said like blissfully ignorant like Tom be Brady aware. doesn't have the agility to escape from that play either you're on like Eli did he, right. <laughs> dude you don't understand anything I'm, I'm just not I'm, even I'm attention. sorry but I'm the luckiest I've mother I've up a lot of angst against Brady I'm watching these games this, this year 
I've gathered up. You, have, you guys haven't watched every snap. It's been tough. It's been fucking tough watching this guy. He's 44 years old, 46, whatever the fuck he is. Our, he's every Peyton Manning hey, game. He should hey, retire. Hey, he should hey, retire. Matt. Yeah. Matt, when he wins the Super Bowl with the 49ers next year, are you going to cry? He won't. He's not good enough anymore. You're going to cry? No, I won't cry, but he, it's not going to happen. I won't cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm still trying to figure out how I look at the Giants coach, man. I'd rather yeah, have Jameis shit. Winston. I'd rather have how Jameis far, Winston going like, into what? this game. Like, <laughs> you got to like. No, but Brady might. Brady <laughs> might go to the Raiders. He might go to the Niners. He might go to the Dolphins. But Brady ain't going to do any better next year. I'm today. telling you, the dude's finally shot. Fucking dickhead said I look like Dable, whatever the fuck, man. Yeah. Hey, Brian Dable. <laughs> the fuck, dude. Yeah, have hey. at me. Come at me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're just an idiot. You don't understand. Get a Brady jersey, dude. You are so. I appreciate fortunate. him for what he did, but it's over now. That's kind of what I said. Your team get a playoff. You wouldn't be in without him. The long for the ride. Do you agree with that? You would not be in the playoffs without him. If if you didn't have Brady, you wouldn't be in the playoffs, right? Yeah, I mean, if we had Gabbert, we wouldn't have made the playoffs. We would have came. We would have been a couple games worse. Wrap it up on that. We got trivia. trivia. We got fucking trivia next. All right, let's go. We probably just lost three subscribers on that bullshit at the end. Yeah, Uh, Yeah. there's Brady haters out there. There's others.